Hi, I'm Tamara from Craftsmart and today we're going to produce a resin art piece using the Craftsmart liquid gloss. Today we're going to use a variety of colours. We're going to use the Jacquard Pinata colours. We'll use the Jacquard Dynaflow dyes, the Montana alcohol based refill ink and the Montana refill acrylics. We're going to pop part A into our first cup. and equal amounts of part B into our second cup. Making sure that both cups are level and we have the equal amount. So you want to make sure that part A and part B are thoroughly mixed together. What you will notice is that it will go cloudy and it will be quite streaky. And when it is fully mixed, you will notice that it will be crystal clear. You mix for around two minutes. Just have a quick look at the cup and make sure that you can't see any streaks. Pop a cup down for each colour that you wish to use. We're going to separate it into each cup and the desired amount for each colour. We're going to work with this colour range today. We're going to pop each of them into their resin cups. So the Jacquard Pinata colour, you need a couple of drops of that and then give it a very good mix around. Mix the colour thoroughly through. With the Jacquard Dynaflow, just give it a little bit of a shake first, making sure that it is well mixed inside. Just a very small amount. Make sure you mix the colour through thoroughly. Make sure you give that a good shake. A couple of drops. Mix it around well till it's fully combined. We're going to use a flood pour today, which is straight from the cup and pouring straight onto the artboard. When you pour onto the artboard, you'll notice that the resin will start to flow out. We're going to move and shift the canvas by picking it up and tilting it. And you can continue to pour and tilt until you have the desired design that you want. We're gonna fix these sides up and you have got some flow over them. We just need to make sure that they're fully covered and by doing a lift of the resin off the surface and spreading it back on the edge, we'll make sure that they are fully covered. Just work all the way around the canvas, making sure each edge is covered. So what we're going to do is use a butane torch over to clear out the air bubbles. First of all, what I'm going to do is use the alcohol ink. This is the Montana Refill Alcohol Ink. And we're just going to pop one or two drops on top of the resin first. And as you apply the heat, it should help separate the alcohol ink. and you should see some netting action happening and you'll see the colours from underneath it come out. So once you've waited 24 hours for the resin to dry, then you can move it and hang it in your home or office.